so good morning again, everyone. Uh, thank you again for coming out. Um, so funny enough, so I'm the head of interior design, but I'm going to talk about the whole car today uh, because you know we all work together pretty closely, the exterior and interior design teams, as we uh, develop a vehicle to make sure there's a nice consistency between the outside and the inside. But I'm just going to start up front. So the front of the, the Pacifica is very familiar. It's the face of Chrysler, right? So the upper part of it, uh, the lights are included in this nice band with the grill. So it gives a nice wide um, feeling to the front end. And then the lower Mobius chrome strip uh, ties in the lower nicely to the outside uh, pods where the fog lamps are. So it creates a nice wide low face. And as you sweep around the vehicle, you'll notice that the whole thing has a nice uh, windswept feeling, so it almost feels like you know it's in motion even though it's sitting here. Um, in addition to that, what we did on the exterior was we really tried to make sure that the wheels were you know pushed out to the corners of the car, and we really took took time to shave off the corners so that it had a nice compact feeling on the corners, so it felt nimble and it felt you know that you could you know drive it around in traffic um, without too many worries, even though it's a larger vehicle. Um, if you come around to the side, you see that um, the DLO graphic, it's, the, it's short for daylight opening. Um, we took care to make sure that it had a nice premium feel with the chrome strip that traces around the entire outline of it. And then if you look too at the surfacing of the body, um, there is a lot of, you know, in and out, a lot of light catchers. So you get this nice bone line that runs through the side of the car right where the handles are. It gives a nice emphasis through the center of the car and really kind of lowers the weight. And then having a nice light catcher at the bottom to sort of emphasize, you know, and stabilize the bottom of the car. Then also similar to the 200, we've got this nice line that comes up and goes just under the belt line across the entire length of the car and then sweeps up into the rear of the, of the glass. So it gives the whole car a nice stretched out, you know, um, feeling. And also because the surfacing is so refined, it has a lot of nice negatives, a lot of nice volumes. It has a more precious feeling to it, you know, something that, that really feels handcrafted. And back here you can really see uh, what the designers were trying to do. Um, the, head, the tail lights are encompassed in this graphic with the, with the glass, and it really creates a nice graphic, you know, sort of top to bottom. And it's a nice, clean, simple rear end where the focus is you know, the glass area, and then the nice graphic in the tail lamps. And then both front and rear of the tail lamps have a nice, the, the lamps have a nice um, LED signature that has become uh, part of the Chrysler family. It's, it's the signature of the Chrysler face, and of course also the rear end of the Chrysler. So it's, it's, even though it's a larger vehicle, we wanted to make sure that all of the design cues there were very familiar to the Chrysler brand, um, but we did it in a way that signified hey, this is, you know, it's a minivan, but it's something that's new, it's fresh, and we really wanted to, to push the envelope in terms of uh, creating something that was not a box. Because if you think about it, right, the stigma of a minivan is like, it's this box that you put all your stuff in, right? It's this tool that you use. And we wanted to make sure that, at least from a design point of view, it didn't have that feeling at all. You know, the, the rear has a nice taper to it. The roof line sweeps off towards the rear. So we did everything to make sure that it was uh, as functional, if not more functional than it than the car it's replacing, but that it also looks stylish and you feel good getting into it every day. And I uh, just want to talk about a few of the things that you know sort of inspired us and some of the things that we were thinking as we developed the interior. Um, but really, you know, as I talked about the Pacifica being a, a tool, right? Because that's what the segment demands. It's something that people want to use. They want to get the most out of. So you'll see there are four chairs there and. You know, you can sit in them, they're functional, they kind of do the job, right? But when you're uh, taking something that is a tool and turning it into an object of desire, how do you do that? You create something that is a bit more unique, something that stands out um, from everything else around it and has a, has a more unique feeling to it. But not only just being unique, but also kind of leading the pack, right? Because um, if you're unique and you're not better, there's a word for that, it's called weird. So we wanted to make sure we didn't do that.